Hey, how's it going everybody? Stacking Kid here, and today we're going to talk about slabbing coins and is it really worth it? So guys, I'm going to use for my presentation. Uh, my only slabbed coin is MS64 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar, and I know many, uh, what, I, what I did kind of a test, I just took a picture of the coin just like that, and I sent it to a bunch of people and asked them what they think the grade was. A lot of people thought there was AU. The people who were better at grading uh, said it was uncirculated details or um, MS61. That's what a lot of them said. But this one is MS64, and so that's what that's. These are one of the times when the toning can really deceive you. But if you look at the coin, if you look at all the spots around that horrible little toning, you can really see this coin is an MS64, right? So. <clears throat> Okay, and this is one of the times when it might be better to get it slabbed. Although, a lot of people might say that this will take value off the coin, which it which it will. A lot of people would rather have just the white coin. But the odds are, I could probably only sell this coin uh, ungraded for like 30 bucks. You know what I mean? But graded, this coin I can probably sell for 60 bucks, which is gray sheep. I mean, if it, weren't, if it were to be just like plain white, like it, the, like it is right there, I could probably sell for like 75, 80 maybe 90 bucks you guys you know what I mean <clears throat> like more closer to closer to fair market value but because this coin is slabbed it did add around thirty dollars in value but again PCGS just to get it graded costs thirty dollars so this is one of the instances where you want to buy the coin slab from somebody who grades these coins in bulk instead of slabbing it on your own because slabbing it on your own uh, you'll end up losing money probably but I did buy this coin for uh, $30, which is a great deal. And I could probably easily sell for $60. But if anybody's interested in this coin, let me know. But this is one of the instances where you should get a coin graded. One of the instances where you shouldn't are book fillers. So book fillers like something like this. This coin has really nice details. Probably low AU. I'd say AU50. And this is an 1885. This coin is cleaned. 1885S, so it's a rare date. It is cleaned, obviously, and uh, yeah, but this coin, even though you might think uh, if you graded this coin, it probably would add value, but since this coin is clean, the only people that you might get it graded by is Anax, where it might be good, but even then, uh, there's just not worth it. This coin would be much better sold. It's just a book filler, you know, because it's a rare date. <clears throat> you know, you, you guys understand what I'm saying? And that that's that's kind of the big thing to discern from. It, it really helps to get good at uh, learning what is cleaned if you're going to grade coins. And so that's a very important uh, factor whenever you just get started grading coins. So for me, I probably will never grade coins for my collection unless it's like an extremely valuable coin that I really want to keep. But I don't see that happening right now. And it's just because the only time I'll really grade coins is to flip because for me... I'm not nearly as much of a collector as I am a stacker, guys. I'm a stacker at heart. I like to I like to buy these Morgans at a low price, and sometimes I can get the key dates, you know, uh, 1992s. You know, you guys know what I mean. Sometimes I can get those deals, but mainly I'm just buying these just to stack, to put away, you know, to have later on in life. But numismatics in the meantime is just my hobby for flipping and making some money. In the meantime, when spots high, like $17 right now. Oh, by the way, guys, make sure to go check out my um, video right before this about precious metals uh, and what how, how to stack while precious metals are high. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I'll see y'all later. Thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see y'all later. Peace.